Hello YouTube, to help you. This video is a bit. But uh, this video is Nightbot and the song requests and everything in Nightbot. And it's also going to show you the point system. If you don't want to use Streamlabs, like say if you want to have songs and you want it to be requested by the name, uh, unlike Stream Streamlabs chatbot in my other video, um, you can't do that on uh, in that program. But at least not yet. So first off, uh, go to nightbot.com uh, and then um, you want to download the full application uh, but just sign at first uh, yeah, just type in a uh, nightbot and I'm going to be putting a link in the description but just go do that go to that website and then uh, download and then when you're on this uh, when, you, when it's downloaded and you go to it and everything uh, log into your account here, your Twitch account, and then uh, to add the bot, Nightbot, to your channel, otherwise you won't be able to do anything, you won't be there. Go to, um, go to join channel up here on your dashboard, join channel, and you just want to follow the instructions. So go to your Twitch chat, type in slash mod space Nightbot, and that will connect. Now, um, this is your dashboard. So your dashboard just tells you uh, stats, messages, commands, and timeouts. The graph here goes to top chatter, top command. If you have any events or show here, coming recent events, recent timeout. Hit commands. Go to commands. Just go to click custom and then just add command. You can do the list of commands. You have two actions here. One is to edit, and one is to remove. You want to edit or remove a command. Uh, or you can use uh, these default, these are all default commands. So if someone types in this command, it's gonna say this. You can either disable it, or you can, um, yeah, and you can, if you click settings options there, you can use, uh, say what permission you want uh, the command to be used for. And you have a cooldown time. I say here, I don't want this commercial thing, so I have to say. So, um, giveaway. For giveaway, uh, this only works on the website, so uh, unfortunately. So if you want to do a giveaway, go to the website, not the application. Uh, users here. There's three boxes here. Users is all the eligible users. Um, that, yeah. So whoever... Use hello YouTube <laughs> giveaway because the giveaway only works uh, for uh, apparently on the website. So if you're using the application and you want to give away, just switch to the website. Now there's three boxes here: users, users of whoever are eligible for the um, like whoever types in what whatever eligibility you have, whoever whoever types in uh, the correct info. Uh, they will pop up here on the users list. This, this is whoever is eligible for the uh, giveaway. And then by the time you roll it, like you start the giveaway, it will pick whoever is on this list. And this is, you can customize here, eligibility. You can put it for mods, regulars, subscribers, or even all of them. Giveaway type, you can use active users, so whoever is active in the chat. Keyword, you can uh, customize. And here you can uh, obviously customize. Oh, if, you, if you're a subscriber, you have more percent chance winning, or you can have no regular just for subscribers. Or, and then the keyword, whatever you want. And then the random number. If you, This is a problem with uh, spamming, but you can always just uh, go into spam protection and use that. Um, but here, it would just... Uh, you just have to um, put in the number. You put minimum number and then maximum number, and then someone has to guess that number. I'm gonna pick a random number and then, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So, so once uh, so people, and then you just tell people, oh, you have to type in, uh, you have to type in um, in the chat, and then uh, once you're ready to start the giveaway, like if you have a countdown time or something, you roll it, and it will pick the winner. 
And then the winner will pop up on screen and the nightbot will show, oh, so-and-so won and everything. And you just message them and blah, 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 blah. Uh, now this is the logs. Uh, this is, shows all your messages and the timestamp and everything that you have received. And the name of the person and what their message is. Regulars. You want someone to be a regular in your stream? Add them up here. I don't know why it doesn't auto act. I don't know why it doesn't auto do that, but oh, well. that's why. Uh, that's what uh, the Streamlabs chatbot is better for. Nightbot's better for certain things, and uh, Streamlabs chatbot is better for certain. Things. You can have song quest. Uh, you could use either use Spotify or YouTube or the um, cloud. Uh, I'm using YouTube currently. Although when you use YouTube. Um, on your VODs, uh, they mute your VODs because copyright. But unless you don't care about that, uh, I would use YouTube. Because YouTube, you're able to pick any song, and it comes right from YouTube, and the, um, as long as you put the uh, name and the, um, the artist. Singer. The guy that made the song. So first, uh, you have your auto DJ here. It's going to come with a list of songs. You can just delete them all. Or you can it's or you can use them. It's up to you. The songs on that comes with are pretty good. That's what I hear. So go to um settings at first. You can customize your the user level. Providers. Uh whatever provider you want to use, Spotify or YouTube. Uh the thing is with Spotify is uh if you want the people um whoever requests the song needs to have the URL of this the playlist or the uh, song. No, just the playlist, because apparently the songs don't work if you have to for it. Um, or they can request it, but it has to be an actual Spotify song. And it just it just gets all complicated, There's restrictions and everything. So I would just use YouTube. Um, so you, the Monster Cat playlist uh, is the, it comes with, like I said, it comes with uh, songs. Um, a bunch of songs. You can either take the songs from there if you don't delete them, or you can just take them from your playlist. You can add songs to your playlist. I will show you in a sec. But and then search provider. This is key. If you want your song to be requested by the name, you would need to um, select whatever search provider you want here. So if you want YouTube, you click YouTube. Uh, and then limits. You have limits here. You can whatever you want. YouTube. You have Two options here, you want to limit to um, require requested YouTube videos to, uh, from the music category. To be from the music category, so has, in the category they have to have music. And then uh, limit to uh, more view likes than dislikes. Then this is the most important part, Nightbot. So if you, if you don't download the program, you won't have this... Um, if, if you're using uh, Nightbot off the website, you will not have this tab. So if you want to insert text, like if you want to have the word, the name of the song and who requested it, and even the artist, um, you have to put this in these brackets, artist. And it has to be the special, bra the special bracket in the end. Brackets, and otherwise uh, it doesn't work. Actually, my bad. I couldn't see it from here. You need to have these two, um, these two special brackets on both ends, followed by a space in the front and a space in the back. If you want to have the artist name uh, in your words, uh, like I showed you in my previous video, I showed you how to put text in OBS. So you just put that in from here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to add a song. You can request the song here, um, the link to the YouTube, um, or if you want to add a song to your playlist, um, this is your playlist here. Now, if no songs are requested, it will take songs out from your playlist. But if you don't have any songs in your playlist, I obviously won't play any song. You can add a, a, a actual one song here from YouTube, or you can add a playlist from like Spotify or something. Um, you can use both. Um, so if I, if I import a play, if I import a playlist from Spotify, you can, and it will play. Um, but it just, like I said, it can't be requested. It would need the URL.
yeah okay if you want to disable a song skip a song all your options here this song ta this this only works for youtube now if you're using spotify you need to use the volume on the spotify make sure you link your spotify and everything now if you want to um um have permission for words or links or anything spam protections right here so just uh, like it before you have your options and you disable or it it will show first these will all be enabled so if you want to turn off certain ones you can or, or customize timers you want a timer for certain commands just add a add a timer add the command and add the name remember uh commands are used by um people timers cannot be used by people so if you just you don't need like the exclamation mark or anything it will just go off at a certain amount of time after a certain amount of time and messages just customize that there these are if you want to set up discord and have it like for some reason uh want to have nightbot in your discord uh you can set up stream tip or muxy a muxy uh let's you can add in your stream but we're using streamlabs stream tip is tips in your chat through nightbot so if you get tips it will be displayed in your chat okay well that's pretty much it now um for extent now for streamlabs the the point system uh if you want to have point system uh this will be displayed on your panels so first off go to your twitch go to your uh, dashboard and go to uh, on the side here it's going to show extensions uh whatever extension you want so if you want you can have a timer like a schedule timer and countdown and customize all that installed here but this this these are all the available extensions so if you want any of these just add them and look them up on youtube if you're confused or whatever uh so i installed these this is nothing it's not um streamlabs is not on my own yeah so um we're gonna look into this streamlabs leaderboard so once you download that uh make sure you put um like what panel you want like the name like extension panel two and this extension panel one so when i go to my extensions when i add a panel just click on extensions and add that and you can move it around yeah uh so go to set oops not i don't want to delete that go to settings and then you can customize all this like you want it either a theme day or a night of your um the the i'll show you for for example So this is mine so i have a countdown time so it's dark the theme is dark right and then i have my uh, dark uh point system right here see and then uh I, and then limbs is the um is what my points are called and then i have two tabs i i'm not i don't have this subscribe button yet so and no point bits button yet so i don't have that um yeah so you can just customize that default tab you can either you have the default on loyalty subscriptions or cheers or just show you it would just be on the you know the default tab uh default period uh if you all time session week or month a max items i don't even know what this is or it just shows how many people are displayed um 20 people and then if you want to un enable any of these and then save settings now um for to customize the uh the uh, alerts and the alerts and everything and the points uh go to once you add the panels go to your streamlabs.com dashboard and then go down to um community and growth switch extensions and overlay and loyalty and here you have all the names of all people points and everything uh go to your rewards and you can add add a reward number of whatever you decide your points to be called uh you can edit for example edit uh re reward name twitter follow so if uh if someone you you can use the points on stuff so if you have 100 points and you want to use it you can get a i will follow you on twitter uh and then you can just redemption information enter your twitter name that's what it is going to show 
uh, and then a description. I'll follow you on Twitter. Yep, like for VR. That's what. So that's, this is what the reward's going to be called. So someone clicks that. And then this is the information for them to do. Enter your Twitter name. And then uh, this is what shows that I'm for me, right? Um, and then you have... There's only a certain amount of um, uh, rewards. So if I create a reward right here, wait. Okay, games. You have these chests that people are rewarded with. Uh, it, it comes up on screen every. You can customize here um, every certain amount, certain amount of time, fifteen minutes, and it's only. And you can put percentage of viewers. Uh, whoever it drops for it's gonna pop up on screen and you have to click the chest like for me i have 10 seconds before otherwise it goes away and you get a certain amount of points point settings so this is where you customize your points your points name whatever you want to call it we can see your limbs earned and then the limbs over a certain amount of time so you get 10 for watching for 10 minutes you get 10 limbs um and then you have whatever points you want to give for every follow, sub, etc. Uh, and then you can block people. I maybe shouldn't block this guy, but he's a electrical skateboarder. Uh, he's a um, he helps. He's a group of people. He's just like a bot, pretty much that uh, help helps uh, people on Twitch uh, grow. He supports small streamers. He hosts every people every day, every ten minutes or so. And uh, if you, um, he would say, "Oh, type in exclamation mark host me," and then uh, it's a give it's a giveaway for um, host. When he will host you with like a hundred viewers, whoever's watching him, and you might get some follows. And that's pretty much it. So, um, if you have any more questions, just uh, let me know. I'm so new to all this, so. Um, Forgive me. And uh, everyone have a good day. And I will catch you in my uh, next video. Thank you.